When a school shooting happens, as a parent, you, you can't help but think of your own kids. Yeah, now that students are headed back into the classroom, many of you wanted to know how local police are training for that worst case scenario. This morning, Savannah Levins is working to get you those answers. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I reached out to actually a, more than a dozen police departments to ask what they're doing to train, and I can tell you most are training at a level I've never seen before. Shoot it down the hallway, they're that way. The video and photos you'll see in this story are all simulations. That doesn't mean it's easy to watch. It is very close to home. Um, it's heartbreaking, but that's why we train. I reached out to 16 police departments across Metro Atlanta. Six gave detailed responses about how they're training for a school shooting. In Cobb County, our tactical guys will actually play bad guys and role players, and we bring in civilians to play civilian victims. Police Sergeant Wayne Delk says their training is more realistic than it's ever been. It has has definitely evolved. The understanding is that the stakes are a lot higher. In Sandy Springs, the training is similarly realistic. We have to be ready to respond to something that nobody wants to respond to. And the only way to do that is by putting ourselves in that type of environment. All use guns that shoot projectiles or send shock waves. Watch as this Atlanta Public Schools officer acting as an active shooter hides in the classroom and takes down an officer from behind. When you get struck by these, it hurts. Gwinnett police just finished training at a local elementary school, adding to the mix actors playing students and teachers. Role player students running through the halls, screaming and yelling, students in the room. It's realistic as it can be. Another significant change most of the departments who responded say they no longer train to wait for backup. They train to respond. It is trained into them. Even if, unfortunately, you're by yourself, you're going to go into the school. I can't wait 30 seconds. At that moment, we have to do that job. Lives are depending on it. Now, another thing that several departments said is they closely study the layout of schools, like little known entry and exit points. Now, they don't release the details of that to the public or to me because they want to keep the upper hand on anyone with bad intentions. We have a breakdown of each county's response plan on 11alive.com.